Hey folks, it is Tuesday, but you're probably watching this on Thursday. Welcome back to the channel. Hello guys and gals, the moment that we've all been waiting for is the day that the pinstriper comes and Paul is here and he's getting things set up and uh, we're getting ready to put the collar on. So on my Instagram, I gave you guys choices on which colors you wanted to see my Facebook as well and everybody sent me some messages some of them posted them some of them sent me private messages and uh, it's gonna be a surprise so once Paul gets started here you'll get to see which color we eventually chose and some of the other little accents that we're doing to the car so Paul how long have you been pinstriping 35 years 35 years yeah and you've done some pretty significant uh, jobs in your past oh yeah yeah, yeah. A lot of pictures. Uh, I've got all the pictures, and uh, people have photographed me. Yep. Now, pinstripers always have these fancy brushes with the long bristles, and somebody once upon a time told me that it was squirrel hair. Yeah, squirrel or uh, sometimes horse hair. Horse hair. Sometimes. Yep. Yeah, mostly squirrel. That color looks pretty good to you, Jason. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, I like it. Because I can, you know, I can lighten it up more if you'd like. Well, you're gonna you're gonna put a piece gonna of the, do, on there. I'm just we'll, gonna do. Yeah. yeah. And we'll take a look at it. And, That's right. And I'm sure that uh, just as soon as that started mixing up, I could already tell that it was. Uh, yeah. It was right where we wanted it to be. I have to get the the cons consistency just right on the brush start here. No, I think what we'll do is we'll go gray. like a dark dark gray. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna go with what you've got yeah. here. That's fine. I'm gonna mix that up. Yeah, and yeah. we'll take a look at it and yeah. maybe we can maybe we can accent a couple of the edges. Oh that can be done. Yeah but we'll take a look at it in the in the single color first. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now I'll probably just do an outline. Yeah. Because you were saying keep this bring as out the, the color. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. Okay. Well, perfect. Good. So we'll check back with Paul when we're getting closer to being done and we can show you some of the finished product. Well guys, the time has come to reveal to you the finished product. So before I do that, take a look at this. So as you can probably tell by now, it's not lime green and it's not orange. And I think that's pretty close right that's there. Pretty close. That is pretty We decided to go with a very close proximity. Of course that compressor had to kick in as close to plum crazy as we could get so we've got a little bit of a design here and one down on the keyhole a little bit of a design coming down the center again surrounding the keyhole and the reason why I did this and I probably wouldn't say this any other time but we had a little bit of a blemish above the key when we were doing the bodywork and when it painted it kind of showed through and now you can't see it but this kind of masks it up a little bit. And as we come down here, in kind of the CUDA font style, I decided to get something that matched my license plate. So in the same font, we've got Doba, and I really like that little touch. And of course, we come over here to the pasture side, and a very similar design for the top and around the key. At the end of the day, I'm really impressed with this. I know it's very subtle and simple. Um, as much work that goes into the pin striping that you see on a lot of these rat rods and, and, uh, and in older cars, I really appreciate that work. It's very intense, uh, very intricate, and I think that uh, you know on certain cars, it belongs there. On my car, I wanted to keep with something very simple. So I decided to go and split the two colors 
I did go with the Plum Crazy, and I can't be any more happy with the way that this turned out. So finally, I guess it's the, the, the finishing touches on a decade-old paint job, something that I've been meaning to try and get around to for a long time, and Paul and I finally connected, and I'm very satisfied with his work. So he will be in again tomorrow to do some pinstriping on the 36 Dodge project. So we will make another video. So guys, this is gonna conclude this video. If you like what you see, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. Guys, I say it every time, but I really, really, really do appreciate when you guys uh, comment on these videos. And I know that you're watching because those view numbers just keep climbing. Uh, as it sits right now, we're sitting at 219 subscribers. Let's get that up to 250 real quick, guys. Share these videos with your friends. Let them know. I have stickers available. If you like a sticker, send me an email to my email address in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next upload.